I am live now. Hey, everybody. So nice to see you guys again. Well, actually, I can't really see you, but you can see me. So <laughs> I don't have, fortunately, I don't have any toilet stories for you this week. I actually have something more positive that I'm working on. And uh, if you've been following me for a while, and, and if you haven't, you've probably heard of the term manifesting. So I, tonight I'm manifesting a caller that is maybe local to me, maybe in Canada. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And uh, I'm not also manifesting that is going to be, I'll be able to hear every single word they say very clearly. So on a positive note, like I said, I am manifesting, which means I am asking the universe for something amazing and I'm going to receive it because I consider myself an epic manifester in the past. So manifesting is asking the universe for something and then receiving it if you don't know. So I'm going to give you some really cool tips. If you're trying to manifest something, first you got to take the word trying out of there. But if you're manifesting something that you would like to see in your life, or you start, say you're manifesting a new car, maybe it's a new house, maybe it's a partner, maybe it's something small, like it's some flowers or you know a testimonial from a client, something like that, where it shouldn't exert any effort. So the key, one of the keys to manifesting is that you shouldn't have to exert yourself or try hard. There is, a, there is a flow to this, and it takes a lot of practice to remember how to manifest. But if you can get in that energy of, of knowing, and it's all about emotions. So a couple of ways to manifest something is ask in your head. So in your head, you don't have to walk around like a weirdo going, hey, universe, what can we get? Can I please have this? You can ask in your head because in your head, the thought is a desire and it comes from your mind and it's emitting this energy out to the universe. And then that is received back to you. And so um, the way I like to call manifesting or the universe is you like to call it the big Amazon.ca. So if you're going to order something from Amazon, just like you put your order into the universe, and if you're on Amazon, let's say you want a mat, like new pair of shoes, you're going to order a new pair of shoes. I don't know why that came to my mind, but you can't just go on Amazon and go, okay, shoes, click, put in cart, because Amazon needs to know what color, what size what kind of running shoe, what brand of running shoe, do you want Nike, do you want Adidas, the universe needs to know the specifics, how much you want to pay, so you got to click all of that, put it in your cart, send, and then you know that there's going to be a couple, in my case, boxes on the fortunate couple days of what I've asked for, it's going to be those shoes, right, so that's the same with the universe, if you want to ask for something, you need to ask, and you put your order in, into the universe, or amazon.ca, and this is all, this is, I'm going to do a shameless plug here. This is all of this information. How It's in my book, Unearth Your Intuition. Okay, there's a whole chapter on how to manifest. But you ask in your head. Another way is to ask in meditation. So if you meditate, my caller's almost ready. This is awesome. Um, you can meditate. You can write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper. I have the new shoes now. Or I have the new car now. You can write a letter to yourself as if you've already had it. You can feel as if you already have it. There's so many ways for you to manifest something. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. And I got Nina here, all the way from New Jersey, and we're going to do a reading for her. Hi, Nina. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, it's pretty good. I can hear you. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. I'm here. Okay, what kind of reading did you want today, Nina? Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um. I can tap in psychically, which would be about your life and some decisions that you have to make. Does that make sense to you? Does that feel good? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So um, if you don't have a question, that's okay. I can just type in generally. Um, but the first thing I pick up is a vehicle. Would you understand needing a vehicle or something going on with the vehicle? Yes. It kind of, yeah, I feel like you need a new vehicle. And I don't know why, but this happens sometimes. I don't know if you can see me or not. You're probably just talking to me on the phone. But I'm getting a rash right now on my neck, and this is not me. This is sometimes a clairsentient feeling of something going on inside of your body. So would that make sense where maybe you're allergic to something or there's certain food that you just discovered that you're not able to eat as well? Uh, I'm not sure. Some stuff I don't like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah there's, but I feel like this is my indication, like something your body's like, oh, I don't like that. Doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't feel right to me, and maybe like switching up kind of what you're eating kind of thing. But this, this, this is not me, just so you know. There's a big rash on my neck. <laughs> so it's either, yeah. usually that's my food sensitivity, or someone has a rash, or, and we don't want to discuss that on the air. There's some kind of weird, your body doesn't like something. So we'll just put that on the table, and maybe that will come up as a future thing, because psychic is also a future. So um, going back to the vehicle. 
Would you would you understand you're having to go see a mechanic? I'm seeing a big wrench in someone's hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they just keep talking about the car, but you understand that you yeah. have you taken care of that? Have you taken care of that? Yes. 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 yes I feel yes, like you're like, yes, oh my yes, god, yes. this car! Like, just just get me a new car. Yeah. There's something about it's just annoying to you, right? Yes. Some kind of thing, and it's funny. It's funny because I'm just talking about manifesting, and and I literally said yes. in the beginning of the show before you called, I'm like. We could manifest a new car, so you need to manifest a new car, Nina. <laughs> right? It could be worse, man. It could be. Yeah. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, let me see. Let me see what else is going on in there. That's so funny. They're very focused on your car. It's, just, it's a big thing in your energy field, and I'm seeing like a pothole and all this kind of. You got problems with the car, anyways. We're gonna get. We're gonna manifest you a new car, okay? Um, I need one. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You do need one. It's weird, but uh, I do. I mean, there's something like a, a big bill around it, some kind of bill owing or something. But once that's taken care of, they said you'll be able to get a new car. You're going to manifest a new car, so not to worry about that too much. Oh, good, good. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, will you understand some changes in the home front? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting. It's really weird. It does, it's not exactly moving per se, but there's some changes on the horizon in the home front. And what they show me is it's really, if you don't live here already, I feel like this is future for you. There's a really cute small house, like a cottagey looking mm -hmm. house. And it has like a window box on it with these really cute flowers in it. Does that make sense to you at all? Yes, yes, it does, yes. I it's weird, I like. House too big for, you know. Yeah, it feels like you're probably yeah. moving, but it's a really cute house. Is it? it's cute. Yeah, it's super cute. So when you're looking, it's almost like this is like a childhood dream of yours. Or when I was, yeah, I feel really wistful. Like, you know, I've always wanted to have this really cute house and and a cozy place that's just ours, and it's just it just looks really cute. So this feels like a future opportunity for you that's coming in for you to move yeah. to this smaller house. But it's like way better for your family. Yeah, yeah, it's too big here. It's too big. You know. Mm hmm. Uh, and would you understand? Would you understand why I would be specifically seeing a flower box? Like someone made a homemade flower box that goes in the windowsill. Probably my husband. He's very handy. Very handy. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm hearing hammer and nails, and I'm seeing this really cute window yeah. box that it's handmade. That's yeah. and, <laughs> he does a really good job. Oh, good. That's good. He, he does. He's very particular. Yeah, he's a he's a good guy to have around. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good guy. Yeah, so I really feel for first. First of all, you need to get a new car and a new house. Okay, yeah. so no big deal. It's just a regular Wednesday night. It's fine. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Like, can't you just like have anything that's not changing? But they're saying there's just some changes coming up from you. Are you retiring or like leaving a job behind? I did retire. I did retire. You did retire. Okay. It's like a sense yeah. of freedom in your energy. Like I get retirement and yes. freedom and I get to do whatever I want. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> exactly. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing. Um, do yeah. you live near water? Or, like I feel like there's some water near you where you would go to walk. Yes, I do. There's water. There's water around us. Yeah, you have you have a why are you moving? You have a beautiful place. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's it's just a lot of Yeah. It's a lot to take care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like this is a really yeah. good decision for you. I mean, obviously don't don't make decisions based on what a psychic says, but normally we pick up things that you're already talking about. So there's probably right. discussion about this. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's almost like you. getting a green light. Do you think there's any spirits in my house? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. like there's always spirits in people's houses. <laughs> now I'm not scared of them, but I see things in my house. So, yeah, if you, uh, okay, let me just tune into your house. If I'm able to do that with your permission. Let me see. Do you have an old clock yeah. in your house somewhere? Yes, yes, an old grandfather's clock. Yeah, they're showing me something. You understand, like, 
the person that used to own that clock? Is there like a grandfather or a father figure that had that clock before? Because I'm seeing that that energy beside that big clock. Okay, because it's a yes, it's, yes, 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 the big grandfather clock. Do you, do you ever see the person by the clock? No, I see them walking down the hallway. Like I see uh, okay. a lady walking down my hallway, and other people have seen it too. They said that somebody mm -hmm. walked down your hallway, and I said, well, there's nobody there, you know, but I see it. Oh, yeah, no, I believe I don't, you know, it's really weird, as I don't pick up the lady, and I'm not saying there's no lady there, but I do pick up an older gentleman in spirit that would be yeah, somehow attached yeah, to that clock. Yeah, that's the man who lived here uh, a long time ago, my father's uh, my husband's dad. Yes, yeah. he's in your house. Yeah, he's here, right? Yes, he's here. He's there a lot. So he shows me him standing by the clock, being very proud of this clock and being happy that you guys have the clock. Yes. Yes, that's good. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about the lady. I feel like, because same with us, we have a, an older gentleman in spirit who we don't even know walking up and down our hallway, too. He's no, he's yeah. no problem. No, that's She's just there. Nothing, you know, I'm not, yeah, I'm not scared of anybody, like anything, you know, peaceful people, whatever they are. I would just say, <laughs> More your father in law. Yeah. yeah. So not not to worry. Um, you have so much beautiful, uh, many beautiful opportunities ahead of you. And and it's funny I talked about manifesting because you're going to manifest a car and you're going to manifest another beautiful house that's going to be cozy. Right. Your husband's going to make yes. full blocks for your flowers. Well, he better. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the ring. Well, uh, well. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, that's fun. Yay, I could hear everything she said. I manifested that. <laughs> so, hope to see you guys uh, in about one minute over on the Singing Medium page on Facebook. I'm going to be doing some free readings for you. So if you didn't get to call in like Nina did, and I'll tell you what you're manifesting and what you need to have. Um, I love doing the show. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome time. Have a great night. Bye.